Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to show you how to set up spillover with your time base effects in the Fractal X8. This obviously works in the Axe FX2 as well. We're in Axe Edit and I have got a Mark IV model dialed up with one of the Justin York 121 IRs from the Bipolar Cab Pack. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> So that's my main rhythm scene. And then over here, I've got a lead scene with delay and a parametric EQ block acting as a boost. So I'm gonna turn that off for now just so we can have it all at the same level, but let's have a listen to what the delay sounds like. Have a listen to what happens when I switch from my lead scene, scene four, to scene one, my rhythm scene, if I've just been playing with delay. So essentially all I'm doing there is turning the delay off. However, it's cutting the delay off hard. What I'd like to be able to do is go from playing a guitar solo with delay, switch the delay off, have the repeats continue as long as they're normally gonna continue, and then go back to my rhythm scene. How do we do that, you ask? Well, the first trick is to connect the delay block in parallel. So I'll do that, and then I will connect another shunt from my normal row, which here is a filter block going across to the looper and then to the end. So I've got the delay connected in parallel. Now, this is really, really important when you connect a block in parallel. I've covered this before. Set the mix to 100%, and we need to play around with the bypass mode. So if we want our delay to spill over from scene to scene, we have to set it to mute effects in. Essentially what this will do is leave the delay on while we're switching, but cut out any input into the delay. So it's just kind of like turning off the input while we switch over. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. If I put it on mute effects out, I'm gonna set the level to minus six here. So this should be equivalent to about 25% of the original signal. We'll go back across to scene four Let's see what happens here when I switch from scene one to scene four. Scene four to scene one, I should say. So with mute effects out, it is killing the delay. There's no spillover. However, with mute effects in, this is really cool, we will get spillover. So you play it on your scene with the delay on. And you saw and heard there that when I switched over to scene one, basically turning the delay off, all it did was turn off the input to the delay and the repeats were able to spill over. You can use this with reverb, you can use this with the multi-delay or any of the other time-based effects. It's really effective if you want your scene switching to be essentially seamless and smooth. So that's how I set up spillover in my AX8. You can apply this, like I said, with any time-based effect. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. See you next time.